In this section, we meet Veronica as she wipes Jesus' face. And we consider Jesus as he falls a second time on the road to Calvary. Matthew 25, verses 36 to 40. I was naked and you gave me clothing. I was sick and you took care of me. I was in prison and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him. Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food? Or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you? Or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, truly I tell you, just as you did it for, to the least of one of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Matthew 25 verses 36 to 40. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. When do we wipe faces? The last person to wipe my face was probably my mother decades ago. Wiping a face shows a particular type of intimacy. Aside from a hospital bed or a care home, it is usually an intimate loving act shared with, the one, with one who is utterly dependent upon you. I can't remember the last time I washed a face. It would have been the face of one of my children. It was certainly a long time before Corona took away the intimacy of touch and introduced for us isolation for the sake of others' health. I wouldn't have knowingly known it was going to be the last time I wiped my children's face. Perhaps it was a hurried wipe of my son's nose before school or a wipe of my daughter's face after eating something delicious and messy in equal measure. Either way, it was expressed in the intimacy of a parental relationship. And for some of us, perhaps it will be a parental act in reverse. Our parents who once wiped our faces need us to do this for them because they are the dependent ones now. Wiping faces is an intimate, caring, loving act shared with young and old and usually with those with who we are intimately connected. In that dreadful walk to Calvary, Jesus, in dying for us, was dependent upon the kind, loving act of followers upon the way. Followers like Veronica, who remained when others had deserted. Imagine for a moment you are there in the crowd and you see Veronica. You watch what she does, you see how she cares. It is hot, it is midday. You are part of a huge crowd watching this indignity happen in full view. A few days ago they loved him, greeted him like a king. 
Now they shout, they spit, they goad him. He is condemned now, condemned to the inevitability of a painful, tortured death. You see his face, distorted by pain, drenched in sweat, salty with tears, anguished with the trauma of all of this. It is a sight some people are turning away from, averting their gaze. Some people are watching because they want to see, their darkest inner shadows revealed in the midday sun. A woman is on the edge of the crowd. She is slowly winding her way through the crowd, working her way closer to Jesus. She seems to think to herself, if only I could touch him. If only I could just wipe away that sweaty grime from his face, as a mother would from their children's face. If only I could just touch, that would be enough. That would be enough. Enough for that moment, enough to bear for now. And so there it was. That is what you saw. You saw Veronica, brave, anguished, close to Jesus. You saw an act of courage, an act of compassion, an act of ultimate love. Opposite in intention to the kiss of betrayal on that same cheek just hours earlier. You saw Veronica. Legend has it that following her wiping of Jesus' face, the cloth she used bore his image. Veronica is representative of those on the edge, those who struggle to find a way through, but those who bear the image of Christ. Those who daily perform quiet, gentle acts of love and mercy. Those who even now are taking the role of parent or child and showing those to whom they care intimacy and love. Veronica demonstrates in a small but significant act of love and care. She shows us how we each carry with us the true image of Christ. May we be able to find within us that true image in the face of suffering, in the faces of those around us, in the faces of those from whom we would avert our gaze. We stop on our journey to Calvary to wipe the face of Jesus. Truly, I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. For those whose faces we wipe, and for those who wipe away our tears, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pause for a few moments as you consider these beautiful images. Think about Veronica meeting Jesus and his journey to Calvary in his hour of need. Pain on his face. Love in Veronica's face. The acts of love and of patience and of kindness. And consider to Jesus on his journey to the cross how he falls, how he stumbles, how he travels for us. Consider the colours of the images, the feelings on the faces.
Bear us up on the holy wings of the Spirit to the stronghold of your peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, in all times of fear and dread, grant that we 